Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss AVL tree deletion. There are three cases in AVL tree deletion. Deleting a leaf node, deleting a node with one child and deleting a node with two child. Already in the previous session, we have discussed deleting a leaf node with example. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss second case, deletion of a node with one child. Already we know what is AVL tree. AVL tree is a height balanced binary search tree. And we can able to perform both insertion and deletion in AVL tree. Whenever we are inserting a new node or deleting a node from the AVL tree, the tree may be unbalanced. So unbalanced in the sense, the balance factor of the tree. Normally the balance factor of the tree is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense it is balanced. If it is plus 2 or minus 2, in that case, the tree is unbalanced. So, to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one, we have to apply a rotation. There are four types of rotations we can able to apply. Single left rotation, single right rotation, double left right rotation and double right left rotation. Okay. So, whenever we are inserting a new node into the AVL tree or are deleting a node from the AVL tree, after the particular operation is performed, we need to check the balance factor for every node. If the balance factor is 0, plus 1 or minus 1, it is balanced and no need to do anything. Suppose if it is plus 2 or minus 2, in that case, we have to apply the appropriate rotation to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one. Okay. For example, consider this AVL tree. 25, 22. And then it is 20. This is a left subtree and right subtree is 30, 28, 27, and here it is 40, and its left child is 35. Okay. So this is an AVL tree. So check the balance factor for this AVL tree. It is 0 balance factor. That is the number of left child minus number of right child. That is nothing but the balance factor. So here it is 0. This one is plus 1, this is 0, this is plus 1 and here also 0 plus 1, here also it is 0 and here it is 2 minus 3, it is minus 1. See, now this tree is balanced. So, this is a AVL tree. If the given tree is a binary search tree and also if it satisfies the balance factor in the sense, that is nothing but the AVL tree. Okay. So, now we will delete a node with one child. Okay. That is the case we are going to discuss here. Suppose, if I am going to delete a node 22, that is delete 22, what happens if you are deleting this node in the sense, obviously this child node will occupy this place. Okay, whenever we are deleting a node with one child in the sense, obviously this place will be empty, you are deleting it. Okay, so the child node will occupy this position. So, 25 root node will be there and this position left the subtree, the position of 22 will be occupied by 20 and right subtree as it is. We have not done anything for the right subtree. Okay, 28, 27 and this is 40 and 35. Okay, the right subtree it is as it is. So, this is the tree we will get it after deleting node 22. Now check the balance factor for all leaf nodes, it is 0. Balance factor is 0. And for this node, it is plus 1. And here for this node also, it is plus 1. And for this node, it is 0. Number of left child is 2, right child is also 2. So it is 0. And, and here, if you are considering the root node 25, number of left child is 1 and number of right child is 3. So 1 minus 3, we will get it as minus 2. See here, now the root node is unbalanced. Okay. So, to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one, we have to apply a rotation. Which rotation we have to apply? See here, it is unbalanced here. And right side, if you are considering, there are three children nodes and left side, it is only one. So, we have to apply this side rotation. That is nothing but left rotation. We have to apply a left rotation, single left rotation we have to apply here to convert this unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. So, if you are applying a left rotation, how the tree will be? So, if you are applying a left rotation pointing to the root node 25, now 30 will occupy the root node and 25 and 20 will become its left subtree. 25 
and 20 will become its left subtree and the right subtree if you are considering in the sense when you are rotating this side in the sense 30 will become the root node and 40 and 35 will become its right subtree and what happens to this left subtree of 30 in the sense when 30 is occupying a root node the left subtree of 30 will be attached as a right subtree of 25. See here the left subtree of 30 will be attached as a right subtree of 25. Right subtree of 25. Now this will become the ABL3. Check the balance factor. Here it is 0. Here it is 0. This is plus 1. And here 1 minus 2. It is minus 1. And here it is plus 1. Leaf node always it is 0. Okay. And here if you are considering 3 minus 2. It is plus 1. Now the tree is balanced. Okay. So now again if I am going to delete another node with one child. Okay. That is I am going to delete a node 40. Okay. If I am deleting 40 in the sense 35 will occupy this position. Right. So delete 40. So 35 will occupy this position. So the tree will be. So left subtree will be as it is. Okay. Only in the right subtree we are deleting node 40. So, if you are deleting node 40 in the sense, the child node 35 will occupy the position of 40. Okay. So, now this is the new tree. We will get it after deleting 40. Okay. Now, check the balance factor. So, if you are checking the balance factor here, a leaf node, it is 0. And this one, it is plus 1. And this one, it is minus 1. So, left subtree as it is only balance factor. And here, if you are checking, this is 0. And here, if you are checking in the sense, it is 3 minus 1, it is plus 2. Now, here the node is unbalanced. The root node is unbalanced. So, to convert this unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one, we have to apply appropriate rotation. What type of rotation we have to apply? So, this side you have to apply a rotation. Okay. Whether single rotation is enough or double rotation is required. So, if you are rotating like this in the sense, 25 will occupy the root node. And here if you are checking in the sense, this is a right subtree and this is a left subtree. So, whenever you are rotating in the sense, here unbalance may happen. So, what we have to do it in the sense, here you have to apply a rotation. That is left rotation you have to apply, then only you have to apply a right rotation. Then only the tree will be balanced. So, how we will rotate? So, here if you are applying a single left rotation for this subtree in the sense, 28 will occupy the root node. Okay. And 25 will become the left child. And 20 will become its left child of 25. And what happens to this left subtree of 28? That will be attached as a right subtree of 25. So now 27 will be the right subtree of 25. And then the root node will be as it is. See here we are going to apply a double rotation. But for understanding purpose I am showing this intermediate rotation okay so here it is 35 okay so now we have applied this left rotation next you have to apply this right rotation see here we have to apply lr rotation first left rotation pointing to this node then we have to apply a right rotation okay if you are applying a right rotation pointing towards the root node in the sense okay so this is completely lr rotation not single rotation keep in mind if you are applying a rotation here in the sense, now 28 will be the root node and 30 and 35 will become its right subtree. Okay. And the left subtree is as it is 25, 20 and 27 you will get it. Okay. And this is the new tree we will get it after applying double LR rotation. See here, here we are applying double LR rotation. And here you are applying single left rotation. Okay. See here you have to judge it. If you are applying what type of rotation then the tree will be balanced. See here if you are applying only a right rotation in the sense it won't be balanced. Here we are applying a left rotation. Then we are applying a right rotation. Double LR rotation if you are implementing only the tree will be balanced. So this is deleting a node with one child. So, whenever you are deleting a node with one child in the sense, obviously the child will occupy the parent position. That is the meaning. Okay. So, this is an example for avial tree deletion with 
one child is. Thank you for watching this video.